Here's the tricky IQ and aptitude test question you might frequently see on the test. Imagine a 4 by 6 shape with gray squares on the inside and white squares on the outside. It was broken into 2 by 2 shapes and 3 of the shapes shown belong to the larger shape and one doesn't. Which one does not belong to the group? Do you think you know the answer? Now might be the right time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Do you think you came up with the answer? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge together. As you might be well aware, a visual is worth 1000 words or more. In this case, this is the shape 4 by 6 shape with the gray boxes on the inside and the white boxes on the outside. And it was broken down into 2 by 2 shapes. If we go back to the question, you see that the choice A is represented right here. If you flip the box in the bottom right corner of the screen. Choices B are in the opposite corners, and choices D are in the middle. But what you see is that choice C is not represented here anywhere. So the correct answer here is choice C. Let's recap. The large shape is depicted right here, where gray boxes are on the inside and the white boxes are on the outside of the larger shape. The shaded part of three boxes can form a shape using few turns, but still stay inside the larger shape. This is why choices A, B, and D are valid choices, and choice C is the correct choice, and this is the one you should be selecting. Hopefully you've nailed this question and answered it correctly. But in case you need more questions or practice problems, please make sure to check out my aptitude test question books in the description of this video. And now, here's the question for you to try. You can pause this video and try to solve it. Which shape does not belong to the group? and you have four choices of shapes. Please look carefully at all the shapes and try to determine the one that does not match particular pattern. You can pause the video and try to solve it. And if you came up with the answer, feel free to post the answer in the comments so I'll give you my feedback. Thanks for participating. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment test faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.